One of the most common problems with push-ups is arms coming out. Uh, just pushing and exercise in general. People doing dips like this, bench press like this, push-ups, you know, way up. The fact of the matter is your chest muscles are very good at not just uh, adduction, pulling things inward, but maintaining adduction through a range of motion. So they actually work harder when you are pushing up and in rather than out and in words like this. So think about it this way. You have your torso, lots of times people are using their arms in kind of a circular motion. You see this all the times when people will do push-ups and their arms are doing this sort of thing. However, if you can build the discipline to move and think hourglass, like the bottom of an hourglass, up and inwards when you're doing your push-ups, then you'll get far more activation out of all of your muscles in your pushing chain, and you'll save a lot more uh, stress on your joints as well. So you're gonna get more of what you want, less of what you don't. This is one of the reasons why I love this, what I call it, the Maltese push-up. And people are always on me going, it's not a Maltese cross, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what else to call it. But that is the exact type of movement, up and in. You're ideally actually rubbing your arms against your torso as you push upwards. It's a scooping exercise, uh, not necessarily just push-up. And you can make it harder by straightening your arms out. So when you're doing all of your pushing exercises, even handstands, Think up and in with your arms and your force, and you'll get much more out of it. Be fit, live free. If you enjoyed this video, I appreciate you hitting that like button down below. Please subscribe to my channel. New content coming out every day. And if you have questions or anything you want me to address, just drop it down in the comments section down below, and I'll probably get to it in the next week or two. Thanks for watching.